Hello everyone, I'm Wyvern Forest Gaming, playing Ark Survival Evolved. In my last video, I built a boat trap and used it to tame my first T-Rex. And she is a really nice color. Light purple, pink, a little bit of white, a little bit of red. She is a really, really nice color. I also tamed a Textago, my first Textago, and he's also a really cool color. Purple yellow and red looks really cool a little bit of orange too looks really cool and that's also really cool that'll never get old all right something i want to do is expand the base out a little bit towards the water because I'm going to start to grow some of the uh, vegetables. also want to start to grow narco berries. So it looks like that's all the further I can go out with that. Alright, there's all the foundations. So now I'm going to have to figure out how I want to uh, irrigate the uh, crop plots. And something else I'm going to do is get up to level 97 so I can make a Qu uh, Quetzal platform saddle. So I can use the uh, Quetzal for a dino transport. All right, I put down some crop plots, I have it irrigated, I got some uh, compost bins, haven't planted any seeds yet. I finally hit level 97, which took a little while. So I am not high enough level to make a Quetzal platform saddle, and that is something I am going to do. There's the saddle. So now I'm going to wait for it to craft. And there we go. I now have a platform saddle for the Quetzal. Cool. Okay, now I just need to find the Quetzal. And she's right there. So I'm definitely going to uh, build the saddle into a dino transport saddle. That would be really useful. Okay, cool, there we go. Really, really, really cool. Alright, now I'm going to uh, build on the saddle. And figure out how I'm going to do that and what I'm going to, what I want the uh, saddle to uh, look like. Cool, I got a platform saddle now for the Quetzal. I built on the uh, Quetzal saddle and this is what it looks like. This side is longer than the other side because I wanted enough structural support to get the ramp all the way down to the ground. And I was able to do that. So I used uh, wood pillars. I'm not going to use uh, wood walls. And this is going to be used for a dino transport. Got a smithy. And in between the pillars I put uh, storage boxes. And also got some standing torches as well. Also got some beds, too. So 
So that's what it looks like. I think it turned out pretty cool. All right, I found two high-level Allosaurus, so I'm going to take the Quetzal and a Wyvern and head out to where they're at and try to tame them. And I have enough building materials to make some stone traps. Okay, I'm at the area where the aloes are. This one is a 150 female. And this one is a 140 male. There's also a level 20 uh, male as well. So I'm going to try to uh, kill that. And what I'm going to do is find a safe place for the Quetzal. And build a trap around here. And try to get the aloes uh, separated. Alright, I managed to separate the allosaurus. Already killed the level 20. And the 150 is right there. I've already built a trap, so I'm going to try to get her in the trap. And then begin to trank her out. She's still following. And she is in the trap. Cool. Alright, now I'm going to begin to trank her out. It dodged my shot. <laughs> she might be starting to run, so hopefully a couple more shots and she'll go down. Yeah, yeah. And she's out. Cool. Alright, knocked out a 150 female Allosaurus, and she's a really, really nice color. Alright, so I got some narcotics. And what I'm going to do is wait for her to get hungry and go get some prime meat. Cool. All right, food's gone down a ways. Got some prime meat. Okay. Looks like one more, and there she is. She is tamed up. Alright, tamed a 150 Allosaurus, and she's now 224. And she's a really, really nice color. Purple and pink. See, she's a really, really nice color. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is uh, go get the Quetzal and see if I can get her on the uh, Quetzal. Got the uh, Quetzal. Going to set her down there. All right, now to get her out of the uh, trap.
All right, she's out of the trap. Now to try to get her on the uh, back of the Quetzal. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, she's on the Quetzal. Might have to change her follow. But for right now, going to tell everything to stop. Okay, right now she's on the back of the Quetzal. And I'm probably going to put the Wyvern on the back of the Quetzal, too. So now I'm going to take the uh, Quetzal... ...back to that area. That was pretty safe. And the Quetzal is getting a little heavy. Got the 140 male over here. I actually had to separate this one from a 135 female. So that's nice. There's another higher level aloe. I might tame the third one. So now I'm going to try to get him in the trap. Come on, you're almost there. And he's in the uh, trap. Cool. Okay. So now I'm going to begin to knock him out. Looks like he is starting to run, so hopefully a couple more shots and he will be knocked out. Oh, that missed. Come on, go to sleep. And he is out. Cool. All right, knocked out a 140 male Allosaurus. And I'm going to have to go back up to the uh, Quetzal and get the uh, narcotics out of the uh, 150. And this one's also a really nice color. Like a mixture of brown and orange. Looks cool. All right, now I'm going to wait for him to get hungry and then go get more prime meat. All right, food's gone down a little ways. Got some prime meat. All right, a couple of more. One more, and there we go. Tamed a 140 male Allosaurus, and he's now 209. 
Cool. And it looks like that was just enough prime meat. All right, now to get the uh, Quetzal and get him on the uh, back of it. Got the Quetzal. I put it right there. And now to get him out of the trap. Okay. Okay, there he goes. For a minute, it looked like he was stuck. Okay, now I need to realign him, re realign him up with the uh, ramp. Don't go back in the trap. Funny. <laughs> funny he went back in the trap. That's funny. No, you can't go that way. Come on, come this way. Okay, you are out of the trap now. Come on, up the ramp. Okay, this one's being a little difficult about the ramp, so now I'm going to try to get him on the ramp. Finally got the aloe on the uh, Quetzal. So now I'm going to take the Quetzal back where I had her up here, and I might actually tame that 135 that I found. Still thinking about it. Alright, set you down here. Good as spot as any. Alright. All right, I'm going to uh, head back to base. I'm going to leave the uh, trap for right now. And I was thinking about taming a 135 female aloe. I'm not going to. So I'm going to take my new aloes back to my base. Back at base with my new two allosauruses. All right, now to get him off of the uh, Quetzal. Okay, good, they are off. Oh, I was looking for the uh, wyvern, and the wyvern is right there. It's funny. Okay. Stop all. Cool. Got two Allosaurus. Really, really cool. Okay, so that made the uh, wyvern stop. Funny, I was wondering what happened to the wyvern.
Okay, and the uh, Quetzal saddle worked out really well. Had no issues transporting the uh, aloes. I built a Quetzal saddle and tamed two high-level aloes. It's time for me to end the video, so watch to the end and enjoyed it. Hit the like button, and thanks for watching.